Hi, welcome to 100% LCFC and joining us today is Dan the Statman. Hi Dan, how are you? Not too bad, thank you. Yeah, it's been a little while obviously because we've been hard to find time, but we're back and, and ready to go. We're back and you're going to give us some stats from Monday night from the Newcastle game? I am indeed, yeah. Go on then, fire away. I know, I predicted this. Well, I've got a radio show here in Wrexham um, and I predicted that it'd be a lot closer than what people were expecting it to be. Um, and funnily enough, I actually predicted 1-0, so that was quite nice. Yeah. Um, but it, it was a hard game, obviously, with Rafa and Benitez coming in. And going into that game, he'd never actually lost an opening game as a manager. Um, so that was one that we had to break, and luckily yeah. we did. And a great goal from, from Okazaki. But we've only lost one in 18 at the King Power, and we've kept six clean sheets in the last seven at home. So looking at that, is it's title-winning form. It certainly is, isn't it? Lots of pizza all around with uh, another clean sheet, which is nice for everybody. Um, it was, I mean, it did change the perspective of the game with Rafa Benitez joining just a couple of days before. And it's certainly, I think, without without that influence that the Newcastle players looked like they were well up for it. So, Yeah, it was it was a tough, tough game. I think they played some very good football and they had, we had, they had chances, but we were professional in the way we dealt with them. Um, and obviously, Okazaki's goal was superb, but that was the only shot on target we had the whole game. So What's we were that? clinical. Yep, we were clinical. Um, and it's like one chance you need, and we take it, and, and we get the three points. But there's one player that I do want to point out, and that's Angolo Kan. Now, he's been one of the unsung heroes of the team um, yeah. so far this season. He's been absolutely outstanding. And he covered the most ground out of any player in the whole game. He covered 11.28 kilometres and he made 71 sprints during the game. So just based on those facts, he was a workhorse in midfield and was really, really good. I mean, what what he does is he just nicks the ball away from players. He did it countless times on, on Monday. The guy behind me kept saying, get your ball, get your ball from the, from, uh, the Newcastle <laughs> thing. And Kante was, he was just doing that every time. You know, it's yeah, absolutely incredible. I think you say unsung hero. I, I agree with you on that. But I think there's lots of talk on lots of radio stations and lots of lots of media outlets around Europe about lots of big, big, big clubs, even the Real Madrid's and Barcelona's having a good look at him. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. It's going to be hard to keep him, for sure. Um, but obviously with the factor of Champions League football that we get, he, he should say, and I hope he does. So looking forward to the next game, that's Crystal Palace away on Saturday, Dan. Have you got some key stats yeah, there? I actually have. Um, at Crystal Palace, Crystal Palace have won 14 out of 30 games, and we've only beaten them seven times at Selhurst Park. Um, sort of looking at that, we lost 1-0 last time we went there. Um, and it's one of the, again, it's a bogey team. And I've said this several yeah. times that our running is actually hard, harder than most teams people think because there are so many banana skin games that are coming in. These teams are fighting for their lives or mid-table security. Um, they've got nothing to lose, whereas the pressure's on us. So coming into this game, it's not, you know, not great, but the confidence we've got at the minute, we should pick up three points there. And obviously Alan Pardew's under a lot of pressure himself at Crystal Palace. Yeah, Palace have just made the uh, FA Cup semi-finals, haven't they? But in the league form, it's really not great. And at home, it, it's not good. I think a big lot of Palace have lost three or four home games on the trot at home, haven't they, Dan? Something like that. Yeah, they have indeed. They've not been too good at home. They're more of an away side. They've always been known as an, as an away side. They, love, they play sort of like we do, and they love the counter-attacking style with the pace they've got going forward. Um, but they average 1.66 goals a game at Selhurst Park, and we only average 1.23 there. So there's likelihood that both teams will score in this game. It's going to be a very, very tight game. Um, but I'd, I'd be happy with a point, um, but most Leicester fans will be wanting the three, considering where we are. But going to a place like Selhurst, I think a point would be a very, very good result. I think the running, uh, Dan, is going to be interesting to see. What we do, I've, I'm going to show you this. I've got a sheet, which I don't know if people can see on, on the pictures there. Uh, I'll make sure you have a go at that, Dan. And basically, there's the last eight games of the season there. And what we want everybody to do is, is predict whether it's going to be a, a win for Leicester, a draw or a loss, and how many points that is, and see how many points you think are left. So, so I guess starting with the Palace game, what do you, you, you think you'd take a draw? What do you actually think it might be, though? Um, I, I'm going to go two all. I think there's going to be goals in that game, yeah. So you, you you think there'd be a point from that, and then let's just look at the next one, which is Leicester at home to Southampton. Win, lose or draw? Well, Ronald Koeman was on the Monday Night Football, um, and he knows a lot about how to deal with us. At home, I think we've been outstanding at home. Um, both teams to score, but two on Leicester. So you think a, a draw away at Palace, a win against Southampton... 
four points. It's that sort of thing. And so we'd like you to have a go at predicting on that. So I'll send that across to you. Yeah, uh, we'll we're do. We're asking the fans to do it as well. So thanks, Dan, for joining us. Uh, we'll catch up with you after the Palace game. Yep. I'm a bit like you. I'd be quite happy with the draw. I th- I've got a feeling we could go and win it. But it's not going to be as easy as everybody thinks, is it, going to Palace? No, it's, it's a tough place to go, Salas Park. And as much as they're in a bad run of form at the minute, I think that you know they'll be very, very tight. It'll be a bit like the Newcastle game. I think they'll play quite good football and have their chances. So we've got to be disciplined and, and professional. Totally. Thanks, Dan. Thanks for joining us. Catch you next time. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Brilliant. Thank you.